Hi guys, welcome to Off Grid Chris. Today's video, I'm going to be bringing you a, an update to uh, on our garden and our other garden, so our two gardens as well as the polytunnel. Here we go through the gate of what was originally our summer garden, but is now turning into our winter garden. Although with the crops in it, you won't believe it's our winter garden. Um, as most of them will be cropped in the summer, as we'll go through now. But this was already established as we were establishing the other garden over there um, which is now going to be our summer garden but that's all going to happen next year so watch, watch out for that but yeah um, we've had some cold weather past few nights so we were lucky enough the first night not to get any damage but we've got a little bit of damage with likes of some of our potatoes here so if you look only a few though some of them are all dark and basically the frost damage there but if you get into centre where it growing tip is it's perfectly fine so this will continue there you go this will continue as normal and won't be hindered although we're still due another two more days of um, frosty nights so we'll have to wait and see but this is one of our potato beds and then this is one of our cabbages that we've let go to seed to save the seed as it was a savoy cabbage but a bloody huge one it was our biggest one so we thought we'll save that and have that as a good genetics but if you can look carefully I don't know if you can see them little black bits there can you make it out? Get the name of them now, bloody hell. They attack brassicas, make little bullet holes through them. Do, 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 do. All the way through them. Bloody hell, what the heck the corner? Yeah, forget how I'll, I'll, um, I'll put up at the bottom of here, I'll um on the video I'll I'll really write down what they are. But on with next bed is our onions. We grew these from seed, so they're obviously much smaller than they would be if they were sets. Um, so we've got three rows all the way down the bed here, row one, row two and row three. And in between, we've just grown some lettuce for now, just until they're a bit bigger. Um, while they're small, here the lettuce keeps it covered here, so less of weeds, although we've got plenty of weeds here. But at the same time, um, lettuce are very low feeders, so they won't um, take up much from the soil there. As is, got garlic cooked up. Here we go. I actually thought these were going to do really rubbish at the beginning of the year because they went through a spell where, what you can see here, all the leaves started dying off on them. So they weren't doing, you know, too cracky, but they perked up. They're looking a heck of a lot better now. And then the onions in that bed, they were our leftover onions from last year that were left in the polytunnel ground and they were very small a bit too small for um, cooking with you could probably pickle them but obviously they were left and they started growing again so I put them out here to see how they'll go um, obviously I'll, I'll have to keep on top of them because they'll try and send off they'll try and go to, to flower to seed this year but I want to see if I can get any um... oh Billy's here with us to see if we can get any onions out of them this is a trial so we can see the if you like the it can be equivalent to a set you know an onion set there you go you say hello billy no no <laughs> okay so i'll just skip over here and then we'll go into the next bed which is again onions got onions all the way down here i'll just jump onto this bed actually i'm getting ahead of myself this one we've just taken down, going down from there, we've just taken down, um, uh, as you see in the compost bin there, I've got to chop them up yet. These were uh, purple sprouting broccoli and they were very early because we planted them about this time last year. Um, so we've got some very early crop this year, which were lovely, but they're done with now, so they're out of that bed. And we've got more seeds than we can do with, so we don't need any seeds yet. 
We're down onto this bed, which is onions. Again here. You can see them just coming through, they're just starting to looks like some slugs or something's had them there. Maybe some birds. Birds seem to love to peck onions that were grown from seed. Because obviously if you're grown from set, <coughs> which you'll see later on, the much thicker the stems. Here is our outdoor tomatoes. Now they are looking very sorry for themselves. They got a bit of damage from frost last night, but a very small amount. So if you see here, if I bring you in, there you can see, just a little bit of frost damage, so it's nothing really, you know. It's, they're still fine, the grand, but hopefully they can perk up. Again in between, these lettuce in between there. These are gonna be grown for salad. These are salad onions, so spring onions if you like. What you might notice with these on your, uh, these tomato, the leaves look a bit different. They don't look like your standard tomato. They look more like a potato leaf. Now these are an outdoor variety. We've grown these, oh, these were the first ever tomato that I grew, and they're called Matina. They're, uh, they're not a really strong tasting tomato. They're um, quite mild, if you like. But they're lovely and they're a massive you get a massive crop from them as well um but these seeds were saved all the way from there and then saved the years after and years after so they must be oh god god knows how many generations old um maybe five five generations old these so they're used to a bit colder climate than here he is a bit warmer than where i'm originally from which is yorkshire and the pennines but they seem to be doing all right. They've taken a bit of, like this one here, has taken a bit of a hit. But that's no, that's fine. And these here aren't for staking. These are what I'm just using at the moment just to prop the cover over when I put the cover over at night. <clears throat> but I will be bringing a video out on how I stake these because I do these much more differently with them being outdoor to I do than the ones in the polytunnel, which we will go see in a second and there's the roots from you can see no club root so that's a good sign but here's the roots and the stem from the brassica uh, the uh, purple sprouting broccoli and there they are taken down going to be chopped up for the compost so that's our original garden now we're coming over to the polytunnel where if you see all the tomatoes are out now there's a fleece covering the door down there which keeps them just a bit more warmer at night as you see they've done very well since the video that I did of <clears throat> putting these in as you see they've had to be wrapped around again and um, this one can do with another wrap so I'll show you there just each time they're there like this you just twist it around and that holds them up so again these are some of the onions that I didn't take out because I didn't even know these were in um, so they've just grown fruit like the ones that I took out and put outside but these are growing in here so we're getting if you look there they're starting to bulb up so we'll see how they do inside also in between here we've got some onions that I'll be using for salad again so spring onions but these again are in here to see the difference of sorry I'm just keeping an eye on Billy because he's following around and he's he's got it into pole plants you see so <laughs> um, and these will be used again as spring onions but I wanted to see the difference that it will make in here to outside to future years whether it's better to grow them in here or out so we've got a lot more plants that need to go out yet these took a bit of a hit the other day left them out school boyed it my sweet corn and obviously the frost got to them we weren't too happy but again the center 
growing sticks all right here. So they should be all right. Pepper's getting a water. The other pepper's getting a water and they'll be going into this bottom bed down here. Along there. And the cucumber, which again, a few got hit. We'll be going down this line, down here. But it's all right because we've got backup cucumbers down here to be used anyway. We'll get a nice song. You gonna sing? Yeah. You got all shy now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is the herb spiral that Carrie built. I just put my onions there for the time. There, we are leaving these to go to seed, which we're just starting to get the seed coming up there. But yeah, it's uh, proving to be nice. It looks lovely in the garden with the pond she also built. Got plenty of life in there. Let me see down here. And then over to the last of the beds now. Still got this ridge to dig and this bed here to dig, but there's a difference if you look here compared to these. And the difference is this bed. This is an absolute state. I've actually really embarrassed about that, but <clears throat> There's a way that we can, what I'm hoping, to be able to to make this up properly. So it's um, it'll be a much nicer bed. As you see, it's a bit skinnier than the others. And also, if you look, the sides aren't strong. You can just crumble down any second and it has crumbled in areas here. And that's because it's not dug traditional ridge, which is the fold where you get the solid side. This is just cut down with the soil chucked on top and that's because here you can see what it's like not much of roots well that were even worse that that were that was bare that one so there's no to really grab and fold over with it works out well then I'll bring you a video on how I rectify this so it'll be a bit more wider and also a bit more solid. This side's not too bad, but what we're gonna get is <clears throat> a lot of grass growing through from the edges, which aren't really covered, you know, which um, isn't, as we say, ridge-like. I'm making a right mess of that now. I'll leave that alone a bit. We've got, in this ridge here, we've got kale, then we've got peas with the, Nice little pea trellis I made along to fit with the deer fence. And this is the old sheep wire that was buried. In this bed here we have chard. So this only got planted yesterday. So it'll take a couple of days and then it'll perk up a bit, obviously. Um, transplant shock. Then we've got some kale, which are looking very healthy. Different varieties. We've got red Russian up here. And then we've got your... Westland kale or your curly kale broad beans with some munge twos to go out down this bottom area here and um, we'll see if this is this is the bed that I sowed um, parsnips in <coughs> it's three rows of parsnips if you look at them you can almost see the rows put in there but I don't know if they're Take a while to germinate normally parsnips. So I don't think we're showing any signs yet. Nope. Oh, is this one maybe? I don't know. We'll see anyway. A good downpour hopefully. It just seems like it's never going to come again. On the last bed over here we've got potatoes which did seem to get a bit of a hit last night. Some of these again. They're going dark. Some of them are alright but... They all should be fine, they should recover enough unless they get hit again by another lot. Again, more tomato, uh, potatoes, sorry. <clears throat> this bed is yet to plant, which is going to be leeks and carrots. And then this bed with a netting has been planted. It's, these are onion sets. And the reason, I'll just take the cover off. 
the reason why they're netting on is because my experience with planting onion sets, I haven't done it in, oh, it must be four years at least. But I remember them always getting attacked at the beginning by birds as you saw these little perky bits poking up here and then they just come and absolutely annihilate them. Just pull them out. But these look rooted. But you see the difference how thick these are right away compared to onion seeds. And in between carrots. You can just make out these little bunches. If I can get in there of carrots coming through here. All the way down. Got a nice big row full of carrots. Can you see them? Just in the centre of the screen. So that's nice. And then really the last thing to update you on is voila, the uh, IBC tank is now hooked up ready for some rain which <laughs> we haven't actually had any rain in god knows how long i tried to get it done before we had a downpour but the downpour never came all of this is is used from material found in the in our cottage grounds um which anyone who knows an irish cottage when when you first buy an old irish cottage it comes with plenty of of things that you could use if you use your imagination but yeah the tin was from an old shed that lean to almost that we had taken down and this piping was in there but what I did is I cut a, a groove like a channel down out of the piping so it just sit over there nicely and it's just held on here with a screw here and a screw up here where the tie wrap which basically pins it to it at the far end here bit of silicon to join it up far end here i've got a nice big butt of wood just to butt up there and then absolutely coated it with silicon to keep that nice and tight it's got a slight decline coming down here ever so slightly but that's what i want i don't want it to come fast because obviously there's no end cap here to drive it straight down in into this pipe so the water just runs straight down in and then on into the tank at first <laughs> when i first did it <clears throat> i put these were twice as high just to try and get a bit more um, water pressure going down the garden down here but why well, <laughs> the basically the pipe in here filled up with water because it was just ever so slightly high so it just couldn't drop in here it was just sitting in here for the water i had um because obviously it was higher than this point um, and when I tried to take it out, oh, got bloody drenched. I got a bit of water here just to show you it working. I'm not going to use too much because apparently we've not got too much rain coming. But here you go. So simulator down, and there you go. You see it running straight down into the pipe, and you can hear it landing in there. There you go. Straight down, lovely. And obviously this is doing its job. Silicon's worked. Kept it nice and sealed. Yeah, we just got to get the connection now to adapt a little. It's basically it screws on there and it comes out into almost a tap that you attach a hose pipe to. We're just waiting out to purchase that because there's no point getting it yet. Well, there is no rain, although it looks... It feels like there could be rain, but you never know in Ireland. It's sunny as out and it could rain without a cloud in the sky. Or you could have it really dark, thunder clouds, thunderstorm we had the other week, uh, the other day, sorry. But we, there was, you know, nothing, not a drop of rain. You could see the rain over hill, but we got nothing. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. It was... Requested by a few of you from my first update video with a few people wanting um, another update video. So I may end up doing these monthly, but we shall see, mid-month. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> he's doing his exercises, squats. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video. 
if you're not subscribed already subscribe to the channel so you can see more of Billy's face and we'll see you next time you say bye 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 see you soon see you soon <laughs> good boy